crime and punishment. MTI found guilty and fined 64 billion rand. Middle Trading International founder and CEO Johan Steinberg's chickens are coming home to roost. Almost two years after MTI's spectacular collapse in what has since been labeled one of the biggest crypto scams in the world. In a recent and groundbreaking ruling, Judge Lee Yenkel of the U.S. District Court of the Western District of Texas ordered him to pay 1.73 billion U.S. dollars in restitution to victims of his scheme and an additional 1.73 billion U.S. dollars as a civil monetary penalty. In Rand terms, this is 64 billion Rand and it's the highest civil monetary penalty ever ordered in a case involving the Commodity Future Trading Commission. So, what is he being punished for? In an investigation carried out by the JGL team on behalf of the Financial Sector Conduct Authority, we discovered that Steinberg failed to disclose, among other things, that 1. He misappropriated pool participants' funds by soliciting them for trading and then retaining them in his personal e-wallets instead of segregating them in a pool account to trade on behalf of participants as promised. 2. MTI was not registered with the CFTC and he was therefore operating an unlawful business enterprise. 3. Money paid out to some participants as returns on their investments were, in fact, the principal deposits of other participants. When making his ruling, Judge Yenkel praised the quality of our investigation. Just two days after the US ruling, the Western Cape High Court ruled MTI was an unlawful Ponzi scheme that generated returns for early investors by taking them from investments to, of those who joined later. But what does this translate to for the thousands of victims, rumored to be over 30,000 in 146 countries? Are they ever likely to get their money back? The CFTC has warned that the restitution order may not actually result in the recovery of the stolen Bitcoin as wrongdoers may not have sufficient funds or assets. An added complication is that Johann Steinberg is currently incarcerated in a Brazilian jail where he's been since December 2021 and remains a fugitive from the South African law enforcement. So, while the judgments against him and MTI are precedent setting whether they will prove to make any tangible difference in the lives of his victims remains to be seen. My name is Gordon van Wyk from JTL Forensic Services and thank you for listening. If you have not read the full article entitled Crime and Punishment MTI found guilty and fined 64 billion rand, then please click on the link below to access the article. Feel free to like, comment and share this video and the full article. Let us know what you feel we can do to build a South Africa we are all proud of. Thank you, stay safe and God bless.